Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm obviously going to be organizing my pantry. I'm really excited about this video. The before and after of my pantry is just amazing and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I love to put out organization videos, but if there's other videos that you guys would like to see me put out, just leave a comment down below so I know what you guys would like to see from me. And if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So I should mention that we do have sliding doors for our pantry, but it's such a pain. I really don't suggest sliding doors at all for a pantry. If you can, get regular doors. But we took them off for the purpose of this video just to make the organizing process a little easier. So that's why you see the hardware on the floor. So now I'm adding this foam board shelves that I made. I wanted something to cover up the wire shelving. I really hate it and it came with our home. I wasn't ready to build shelving units yet, but that's something I'd like to do eventually. So this option is really good just for a temporary fix that was less than $20. If you guys are interested in how I made this, I do have a video to show you how it's done. And for less than $20, it's something that I think makes a drastic change in the space. So I found it easiest to completely empty my pantry and add all the bins and storage items that I was using inside the empty pantry without filling them with food first. It just really allowed me to see where I wanted things to go and it actually made it easier for when I did fill them with food what to put inside each bin. Most of the products that I'm using are from M Design. I got it straight from its website, mdesign.com, and I found that a lot of these items are actually sold at Target and on Amazon. I really like these products, they have a huge variety so you can really choose which items will fit best in the area that you're organizing. So I will try to link down below all the products that I'm using if you're interested in the ones that I have.
when I was taking off all the stickers to the bins, I realized that the sticky part was still attached to the container. So if you guys have any suggestions on how to get rid of that part of the sticker, let me know in the comments down below. Now here's the best part of the pantry organization is actually filling all of your bins and containers with the food items that you put in your pantry. Now these bins I absolutely love. They look like they're made out of wood but they're not. They're more like a cardboard material with like a paper covering to make it look like wood. But they're really nice because I like to put pretzels and chips and crackers in bins like these. I don't like to take them out of their original packaging and put them in clear bins just because we go through them so much and I don't want to have to keep refilling and cleaning those bins. So bins Big large baskets like these are perfect because it still makes your pantry look really nice and organized. store food in clear bins like this it's a really good idea to cut out the back instructions and just tape it to the back of the container that way you know how to cook the product that you're putting in the container like for instance this rice um, I might not remember how to cook the rice so I just will cut out the instructions and just tape it to the back so it's there for when I need it
I found this really easy solution to label your containers. I don't personally like my handwriting when I'm labeling things, so I wanted to do something that would make my writing look nice and neat on these containers without making permanent labels. So you just go on the computer, type out what you want to label, pick the font that you want to do, print it out, and then cut it and tape it to the inside of the container, and you'll use a chalk marker to trace the writing. So this ended up being a really big fail for me though because I just didn't like the way the calligraphy looked once I transferred it on to the container, which was a bummer. But I wanted to keep this part of the video because I just think it's a really good idea. So the next time I do it, I'll just have to make sure I find a font that's easy to transfer. And also just a tip, make sure you do this before filling the containers. It makes the job a lot easier if the containers are empty. So now you just see me handwriting everything that I basically just traced because I didn't like the way that the font turned out. But I want to add that this chalk marker is really nice because it literally just washes with water. So it's nice to have something that's not permanent and it's something that's washable and you can just rewrite something if you want to put something different into that container the next time you fill it. I'm transferring all of the snacks that we used to keep in these white bins into these clear bins and I'm really loving the clear bin idea because you can see what you have and when things start to run empty it's easy to see what you need to replace it with. I do like having the large wood looking bins that I have just to keep products in there that I don't really that are kind of mix match but these clear bins are really nice to be able to see especially for snacks what you need to restock on. Thank you. 
So I had a bunch of these small airtight sealed containers. I wasn't really sure what to do with them. They were too small to use for items like sugar and flour and you know regular pantry items. But they do come in handy when you have a bunch of trail mix or mixed nuts or like small baking goods that you like to bake with. I used it for granola and just some like flaxseed and things that we like to put in our smoothies. Okay, and here is the final look of the pantry. I am so excited with the way it turned out. It turned out really nice. It looks nice and clean and organized and I can see everything. So when something runs low, I can see exactly what needs to be replaced. And to be able to cover up these wire shelves, I just think makes the pantry look that much better. So starting at the top, I needed a bin to keep paper plates and paper products for when people came over. So a large bin like this is an easy solution for products like that. And then in the second bin is just leftover products. So the things that I filled the clear containers with, these are just the leftovers. So when those containers are empty, I can just refill it. And these containers are actually from Walmart. I've never put cereal in airtight containers like this before, but I will say the cereal is still fresh. So I really recommend a product like this for your cereal and it just makes your pantry look really nice overall. So these are the OXO brand containers and I love them for you know typical pantry items like you see here. I like that they're clear and you can see exactly what's inside. I like that you can write on them and they'll just wash off with that chalk marker that you saw me use earlier. I like that they're airtight seals so the product that you put inside remains fresh for a long period of time. Now these containers are pretty expensive though so if you want something like this I suggest getting them when they're on sale or you can use a coupon on them. We're actually like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, they always have this brand and they're always at a really good price. So like I said earlier, the clear bins are a game changer. It's so nice to be able to see what food products you're running low on because they're just easily accessible from these clear bins. I think having clear bins in the entire pantry is a little overwhelming. To me, I just don't like the look of being able to see everything, but I think having a good mixture between storage bins that you can't see through versus see-through ones is a really good mix. All right guys, and that's the end of the video. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate all your support. I love reading your guys' comments and letting me know that I inspired you in some way for organizing something in your home. If you guys want to see more content from me, don't forget, leave a comment down below on some things that you guys would like to see in the future. And we'll see you next time, bye.